I just, uh, I would say that there is one last question, uh, an interest that I have, and that's simply an open curiosity about what happens next. Uh, Catholic theology in the United States uh, has, over the last few centuries, produced a number of thinkers, a, a richness, and perhaps today we are as rich or richer than we've ever been in terms of the quality of work that's being done and the questions that are being asked and the, the quality of the person being drawn to it. Uh, Fifty years ago, we would have had uh, an overwhelmingly clerical uh, cadre of theologians. Uh, today, it's quite a mixed group, and I think 30 years from now, it's going to be an overwhelmingly lay, married uh, group of theologians, perhaps the majority of whom will be women. And as theology, the, 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 the burden of theology, the mission of theology, the apostolate of theology for the life of the church, as that passes out of the hands of the clergy, especially the religious clergy, uh, into the hands of the laity who live a different set of sacraments, uh, or at least one sacrament in particular, uh, how will this change the way we ask questions, the way we frame the pursuit of the questions, uh, the tentative answers that we come up with, the way we evaluate those answers? Uh, I'm excited and interested and curious and quite hopeful that, well, obviously the, the changes in the church are being wrought by the Spirit. Uh, we don't have a shortage of priests because the people are not praying enough for priests. I know lots of people who are praying for vocations all the time. And God is not giving them. Uh, and so obviously this is what, the state of the church right now is more or less what God wants in terms of context and challenge to us as a faith community to rethink everything, everything, all of the God questions, all of the human questions, and all of the ecclesial questions. And as we do that over the next 30 years, uh, and as the core of thinkers uh, shifts from a clerical to a lay group, uh, I'm quite hopeful that we will come up with a whole new set of answers and it may perhaps be the great shift, the next great shift in the church, equal to the shift uh, under Constantine, equal to the shift uh, at the Second Vatican Council, equal to a whole number of... It's the same as the shift from a European church to a world church. Uh, we may be standing at the threshold of a, sh of a shift from a clerical church to a lay church, at least and especially in terms of theology. So. I'm glad I'm only 44, so I hope I'll be around to see some of this. Thank you. Your, your contribution is significant, and I really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much for asking me. This was no, my pleasure. My pleasure. It wasn't as nerve-wracking as I thought it was going to be. <laughs>